Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, Divine Mother Goddess Yamaya, your intuitive guide. And we are doing another intuitive message for you all today. Today, I'm going to be doing a reading for all of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. I want to thank all of my new um, soul family tri-enders, okay, who recently subscribed. Welcome in, guys. I appreciate you ladies and gentlemen for your support. Okay, um, kings and queens, thank you so much. Gratitude to you. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a reading for my son, Moon and Rise of Signs, specifically for um, Aquarius. This is going to be a read for all placements for you. Okay, I should note that for you guys. All right, um, we're gonna be doing a um a reading that's going to be from a new deck. Okay, this is from the Hoodoo deck, all right, the Hoodoo Tarot deck or Tarot deck, all right. Um, so the first card we have out here is the Big House, all right. So 16 could be significant here, all right. And we got Big Mama as well, 21. Big Mama could be 21. Or Big Mama could be 101. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that's 21, though. Or, no, 19. 16 and 19. All right, so the Big House and Big Mama is significant for you, all right? Um, all right. Courting. Dr. Grant. Railroad bill, eight of baskets in reverse, daughter of six in reverse, and seven of coins. All right, ace of sticks. A lot of spirit. <laughs> These cards are very nostalgic, okay? They're very beautiful, though. Very beautiful, for sure. The art is so <laughs> nostalgic, I should say. All right. So let me clarify these cards. Um, so far, we got out here courting Dr. Grant. All right. Railroad building reverse. All right. Um, eight of baskets in reverse, daughter of six in reverse, seven of coins in the upright, and the ace of six. So I don't know what any of these cards um, means are yet. So one second. But I do know that courting <laughs> is what it sounds like. All right. So Big Mama can have something to say, all right, um, about this courting situation. All right. Dr. Grant is the hermit. All right, so we got the hermit out here. Somebody is very wise. Um, Louisiana could be significant here. Somebody could have roots in Louisiana, all right? Um, someone could have roots to Protestants, okay? From New Orleans. a lot of names in here all right the big house so the big house is the tower so that is for change all right um when the big house comes up in a reading it may be trying to prepare you for a sudden change in the subsequent trauma that will come from it there will be no opportunity to adjust you will simply have to deal with things the best way you know how if you are not a big embracer of change or you don't or you don't like surprises, life is about to suck big time, but it doesn't have to. The best thing to do when you get the news is to fight the urge to resist or deny whatever is occurring and try your best to look on the bright side. 
If there is no bright side or you are presently unable to see it, then seek support immediately. Reach out to family, friends, and neighbors, or call a hotline to talk to someone. It's important that you have people around you now that can keep you focused and grounded as the winds of the change uproot all that seemed permanent. So there's a big change that's happening for you, okay? Um, so there's some changes that may disrupt your plans, okay? Um, but this could be for a breakthrough, okay? All changes doesn't necessarily mean that things are um, for the bad. There could be things that are actually happening that are getting ready to, you know, manifest into something very beautiful. Um, all right, so we got Big Mama. The Sun, all right, so we got two major arcanas that came out, three, actually, four, actually, all right? So, the Sun... It says, um, it gives us a verse here, all right, from Timothy, um, from Holy Bible, from um, chapter 2 of Timothy, verse, um, no, book 2, Timothy the second, all right, so the second book of Timothy, um, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice, and now I am sure dwells in you as well, all right? So, Grandma is reminding you that you have a presence that is um, within you, that there's a family line of women that is within you that has a lot of faith, that are very strong, okay, and they have a lot of integrity, all right? Um, it says, um, let me see, you could be the backbone of your family, okay? Um, you could be the oldest daughter of your family as well of your mom's children it says don't have to be though um it says when you see you receive big mama in a reading you better believe that no matter how dark it is now the light is coming and everything is going to be all right it says big mama may also be speaking to you about um being willing and able to share your glory your light and your power with others this is not the time to lay low this is your time to shine if you receive Big Mama in a reading, consider the following. Do you fear being brilliant or successful? What are you being, what is being highlighted? Is it okay to be the center of attention sometimes? What does enlightenment mean to you? Take a personal day from work. Who are the important players in the situation? Am I exhibiting a positive mind? Reputations matter. It's time to celebrate. Confidence is the best cos cosmetic. What do you need to do to look and feel your best? So Spirit could be telling you, um, and the Big Mama is telling you, if you, especially if you have a passed over one, all right, your ancestor is telling you that you need to build on your confidence. If you feel like you're lacking in that area, um, know that you own your crown, you wear your crown, okay? Um, you need to work through your fears, all right? Um, Go after what, you know, feels like will make you successful as well. Um, stop crying or weeping um, so much and understand that it's a time um, for you to celebrate after this storm or this major change that's coming in for you. All right. So this could be a good change for you and you may not be able to see it because it may um, seem like whatever it is that is changing into what you may believe is a bad thing is actually something good it's going to be something beautiful in the end okay although the people um who you may view as someone who's going to be in your life long lasting although those people may change out all right jobs you have or careers you have or companies you own or anything of that nature investments okay um may change opportunities may wither away um you're still gonna have as long as you have faith you know, a brighter be a, a brighter beginning that transitions after closing out this cycle, okay? Or this change or transformation takes place. Or maybe it may be that you need to take um, you know, a mental note as well as a evaluation, a self evaluation of yourself and consider changing some things about yourself in order to become a better person. Um, and authentically, all right. Um, so we have the sun here. That is beautiful. All right. So there, that is saying that there's light at the end of the tunnel. All right. Mm -hmm. 
One second, I'm just gonna take notes. Of that. Okay, thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate you guys and ladies, okay? So, fix that when I'm done. Um, we're going to courting, so we're going over to courting. a big book i'm so sorry guys i apologize all right so courting is the lover so someone could be a gemini here a libra as well don't have to be all right um and with the tower as well um i think that's for cancer all right um but yeah all right so We all know what courting means, pretty much. So, someone is definitely um, in a relationship, okay? There's a change that could be coming to a relationship or a relationship dynamic, all right? Um, someone could need or will be going into hermit mode um, after this, you know, situation. Or someone could be going into hermit mode um, just in general to reflect on a relationship that they may be in, okay? Um, trying to figure out what it is they should be doing, all right? What's the best decision to make? What's the next step to make, all right? All right, so we got railroad built in reverse. That's the chariot, but that's in reverse. So there's no forward movement here. It says, with God we shall, so we got another verse for Psalm 108, all right, so chapter, um, chapter 108, so chapter 108, okay, verse 13, with God we shall do, um, valiantly, <laughs> valiantly, it is, with God we shall do valiantly, I don't even know what that word means, I'm not gonna lie, it is he who will tread down our foes. But what I'm thinking, what I get from that is that we should we should be obedient. We should do as we're told. Um, we should deal when it comes to, you know, dealing with our enemies. We should allow God to handle it, all right? Not to take, you know, vengeance into your own hands is what I'm getting from that. All right, so then we got the um, eight of baskets in reverse. So with the eight of baskets, that is um, someone could be connected to cactus, okay, or they could like cactus or 
Um, it could be something that's significant to you, okay? You could live by a lot of cactuses, doesn't have to, all right? Um, but with the Eight of Baskets in reverse, this is the fear of the unknown, um, having unhealthy attachments, making changes you really will regret later, fear of commitment, a flop lever or a flat lever, um, fair weather friends, abandoning relation, abandoning responsibilities, and aimless wandering. Alright. So we got the lovers, we got the hermit, and we got railroad field. Forgot what you just was. All right, so daughter of six and bears. All right. This is not a, this is a major arcana as well for the daughter of six. So with the daughter of sticks, it is getting pumped up to get the job done and maintain that high energy until the very end. All right. Um, she is hot tempered, abusive, overly competitive, insecure, loud, um, boisterous or boast, boisterous, jealous, a show off and habitual procrastinator. These could be attributes or this could literally represent someone. Or this could also be someone who's bold, free, charming, a revolutionary, self-assured, and loves to travel. This could be someone who's very determined and passionate as well. All right, so we got the seven of coins. This is a return on investment, slow and steady progress, assessments, um, waiting for results, long-term long thinking, making assessments, considering the possibilities, finishing what you've started, and reflecting on the choices you've made. And then we got the ace of sticks. And with the Ace of Sticks, that is new opportunities, optimism, self-expression, passion, virility, facing your fears, taking the bull by the horn, conception, self-confidence, travel, good news, being inspired, creative juices flowing, recognizing, poten um, recognizing potential, courage, growth, and the use of force. So... Someone could be taking something by storm and making something work out for themselves after a major change or after a major breakup. I'm actually getting someone that is going to be bossing up, all right? Someone could have been stuck or was stuck for a little bit of time, but this person is changing, all right? This person is actually evaluating, you know, evaluate evaluating the scene of something that has been messy or something that hasn't been working out and now this person is ready although you know this person had to evaluate some things possibly had to walk away from something that wasn't good for them okay because it was causing a lot of strife or it was causing someone to have to constantly evaluate things all right and once this person walked away from something that wasn't serving them, whether it was a relationship, a dynamic, a, you know, a friend group or whatever it was for you, okay? Or whoever this person may be to you and your energy. Once they walked away, they started and started building on a foundation and they became very determined at this. It could also be because this person was pregnant or is pregnant. And so that is fueling their energy to actually work harder, okay, in order for them to have this ace of sticks, which is going to be the ultimate, you know, abundance, some, starting something new that is actually going to transpire into something beautiful, okay? 
So that is what this is about, basically, um, you know, letting go of things that are isn't serving someone and actually stepping up to something that is going to be good for them. OK, so someone could have had to walk, walk into um, having more faith. OK, after not having it. All right. And now things are changing for the better. Um, spirit, clarify courting. of knives all right so this is the truth all right about this relationship that a change is going to come to it whether it be for the whatever it's going to be it's going to be for the good whether you work on it to make things work out or you walk away from it in order for because it's not serving you in order for you to grow and in order for you to start something new then that is what it is and for some of you it could be that you are going to get closer with someone all right start a foundation with them and um you're going to possibly you know get pregnant this could be a new relationship um at the closing out an old one all right um you could be you know working on healing and someone someone new is coming into your life that you could possibly um be starting something new whether it's a, a new business venture as well as um you know getting knocked up spirit clarify dr green all right why is he here why is dr green here to find it all right so we got the three of knives all right, someone is becoming more wiser after a breakup, okay, with the Three of Knives. All right, this is the same as the Three of Swords. All right, someone was heartbroken by something. Um, could be this person, things not working out, all right? Someone found out the truth about a, um, a lover, all right, and that could have broke their heart, all right? Someone had to go in hermit mode after they found out the truth, all right, about something that a lover could have been doing behind their back, all right? Um, this lover could have gotten someone pregnant, doesn't have to be, all right? And that could have been what was going on. And after that, this person is going to Aquarius. You could be getting ready to start something new, all right? Bossing up on their ass, all right? And if this is not you, this is someone that is in your energy, all right? Yeah, your heart could be broken because you could have been, you know, trying to commit to this person, all right? You could have also been, you know, showing this person your wild side when it comes to intimacy, all right? And this person still betrayed you. You could have went out on the limb and did a lot of things that may have embarrassed you, all right, for this person when it comes to intimacy. But this person still wasn't focused on you. They found a, they found a new beginning somewhere else, whether it was them you know getting someone else pregnant or whatever the case may be this person you were dealing with that was your lover um you know they could have backstabbed you and you know it could have really shot your ego because it was revolving around sex and that is something that you really like or enjoy with this person all right and you could be feeling betrayed because they shared themselves with someone else Spirit, clarify the real world, build in reverse. Daughter of baskets. So you got the son of baskets and the daughter of baskets. forward movement though with the railroad bill that is the chariot card all right there's not going to be any progress here or you guys aren't going to be continuing this all right 
uh, whatever this is with especially if this is regarding someone getting someone else pregnant you're not going to be able to walk away from this all right and this is something that's definitely something that could have scarred you or something that is going to be sticking with you for a really long time so but you're going to be getting some good news or are you finding this out all right you finding out this that I, possibly either you got some you all right someone someone could have got you could have thought that it was wise all right to end up getting pregnant by someone who could have betrayed you a lover all right who could have been um trying to walk away from you all right or for some of you this could have also been um a situation for you where things wasn't working out for you um as far as this relationship and so you took another side and became more creative in what you do okay and started doing something in communication or started speaking up more or you know started using your gifts pretty much or it could also be for some of you that although you could be a very beautiful per person it could break your heart that this person ended up cheating on you although you know you could feel it could cause insecurities for you now because you could feel like you know why why weren't you enough all right for this person Spirit, clarify the eight of baskets in reverse. All right. This is the son of coins. You could have a very smart son as well. All right. They could be into astrology. All right. They could be a cancer. Or they could be a Scorpio, actually. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. One is in your energy. You could be really stylish, all right? Somebody who have a lot of faith in yourself or you could need the reason why things are moving forward for you and this person is because you need more you know the reason why you guys are moving forward with the chariot okay is because you're not a loyal person to this person or this person wants someone who's loyal all right someone who they view as beautiful or something of that sort and they could feel like you're not the person for them and then with the eight of baskets in reverse um with someone walking away from this situation it could be because um one they could be either walking away from you for a scorpio or it could also be that and if that's not the case Okay, then it could be that, one second, if I just had it. And if it's not that, then it could be that um, somebody view you as someone who didn't set clear and realistic goals, okay? Or someone who doesn't value education Or they could be looking for someone who's more, you know, grounded. All right. So that's that could possibly be why someone is walking away. Or and for some of you, that could be why this person is staying with you. If for some of you, you know, this isn't a breakup. Spirit, clarify um, the daughter of sticks. I'm sorry, this is a long read. Or I apologize, guys and ladies, but. <laughs> I do not know these cards, and I have to look them up in order to get the meanings for you. Spirit, clarify the daughter of six. All right, Dr. Boozer or Dr. Buzzer. <laughs>
see Dr. Weber. Where the hell is Dr. Weber at? Okay. <laughs> I don't see his ass nowhere in here. I know he gotta be in here though. Okay, here we go. This is justice. Okay. So somebody could be a Libra in this situation as well. All right. So someone could be you know something is not something not fair someone could be viewing something that's not fair all right so someone could be ready to attack someone or you know fuck this person up their lover up because they could view something that's not fair all right so someone is wanting revenge because they're not feeling and so someone could be getting ready to do something that is going to cause them to go to jail they he get, could be getting ready to do something illegal, all right, to retaliate against this person because they got them fucked up and they're feeling like, you know, they caused them too many issues for them to overlook this, all right? So, yeah, clarify the seven of coins. Yeah, clarify the seven of coins for us, please. Father, Father Sam's, okay, a lot of major arcana here. So something is fated to happen. Whatever is happening in your life, this is meant to happen, okay? You have something else that is coming into your life, all right? And whatever this is, don't allow anyone to throw you off balance, all right? So the Father of Sam's in reverse is pertaining to um, temperance, okay? <laughs> so someone could be a Sagittarius you could be dealing with that is unbalanced, all right? Um, this is someone who you could have been trying to start a foundation with, or this is the person you were dealing with who you have a foundation with, and now it is now unbalanced, or this person is unbalanced or bringing you imbalance to your life at this time. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Six. Spirit, what do you want for us to know? Oh, wow. Five of coins. All right. So we got the five of coins here. Someone could have been, and you could feel like someone's been blowing smoke up your ass for a long time. All right. That's not for everybody. That's someone specific feels like that who's discovered a lot of shit about someone that they thought that they knew that they found out they didn't. All right, so it says hard times coming to an end, a new job after prolonged unemployment, renewed faith, recovery from financial ruins, improved love, feeling welcome, rehabilitation, all right, debt repayment, and light at the end of the tunnel. So that is the overall energy, okay? That is what you need to know. That is some information you may have been looking for is what is going to happen after all of this. And like they were saying, this is clarification with Big Mama Car of the Sun is that there is light at the end of the tunnel after this transformation, okay? You may have been having problems repaying debt. You may have been having problems um, financially just in general, but this is the closing cycle of that. Um, you know, those financial burdens that or burdens that you are um, pretty much discouraged about. So we're just gonna take a few cards from the Kipper deck, all right? This is definitely clarifying that there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel. So this is something that's very difficult for you. Something definitely, this person definitely broke your heart, okay? Especially if this is in, is in regards to them starting something new with someone else, okay? Not wanting to move forward with you any longer. Feeling like you guys' relationship has played its course. Do not take action to do anything that is going to cause you to go to jail, okay? It's not worth it. This person isn't worth it. All right. Spirit. All right. 
We got Privilege Lady in reverse. All right, here what else? We got lovers, okay? So there's a Privilege Lady with a lover. Um, December could be significant or December 15th, all right? Someone could have known someone since they were 15, had a crush on, some, on someone since they were 15, been with someone since they were 15, all right? Yeah, clarify this community card in reverse. Official person. Spirit, clarify the false person. All right, a wealthy man is fake. Spirit, clarify the lovers. All right. Uh, going to jail. Spirit, clarify Christmas lady in reverse. Okay. Oh, wow. At the bottom of the deck is journey. All right. Somebody's relationship journey is over. Okay. Um, it's coming to an end. All right. So this is in regards to a previous lady in reverse. Pretty soon, these this person she was in a relationship with, which is this wealthy man. Okay. This could be two people who had a family together. They were unofficial, so they could have not been married. All right. This could be like a long-term relationship. 1220 new 12 is significant new so something new was coming in all right but there's a false person all right they were either being fake or this false person is this they were either being fake with this female or this female was being fake with them but this is a wealthy man 813 could be significant so this wealthy man you could be dealing with he's fake as fuck all right 39 could be significant as well um 829 as well but um both of these lovers okay whether this is you and someone else or if this is someone who left you for someone else they're born they're getting ready to go to jail or um you know this relationship it could be coming to an end because two people are getting ready to go to jail and if this is tied to you and this is just this is not you you know you haven't been doing anything this is someone in your energy and they left you for someone else they could be getting ready to go to jail or you could be getting ready to go to jail in regards to a wealthy man okay because you could feel like he was fake as fuck or you could be working um with this person okay you could feel like he's a legal ass person he do some illegal shit all right and you could be getting ready to give up some information to get this person put in jail all right i'm just gonna take a few more cards and that is gonna close this out And why do this lady okay there she go i was gonna say why does this lady want for this person to be in jail but it's because of a broken heart all right so this lady um it's gonna be you or another um person um aquarius is going to get a couple put in jail all right six of cups because this person is no longer willing to return to their past all right this person is moving forward from their past all right, who is this person moving forward from from their past, okay? Spirit, and why don't they no longer want to be with them, deal with them? Two of Wands. Yeah, this person no longer wants to move forward with someone, all right? Spirit, what else do you want for us to know? Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this was someone who was only here for the sex. All right, and they could have stopped communicating with you that that's what they wanted. This is someone who no longer wanted to sleep with you or, you know, they could have been turning down a lot of offer when it came to sex. All right, whether this was with you or someone else. But, and this, they're not regretting it, all right? This is someone who's not regretting this. They, don't, they haven't needed to give it much thought. They've thought about it enough with the Hermit in Reverse coming out. This is someone who's moving forward. This is the King of Wands. This could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, all right, who's no longer having sex with you and no longer wants to return to their past. 
but that is what I have for you at this time. So please do thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I will be seeing you real soon, okay? Have a blessed, prosperous, and fulfilled day on purpose. Until next time, bye guys.